So something weird just happened, right? <laughs> I'm coming here just to drop my kids off somewhere, like scouts and stuff. And the road that we're on is a very, very narrow road and it's uphill. So what happens as I'm parking up, um, a guy in a van, he comes up uh, the road and then there's uh, another guy coming down the road in a car. So now both of them are right there and none of them wants to move back. So this is quite uh, normal, I guess, in, in some cities, but it's quite weird in the small city that I live in. So um, I went in, I dropped the kids and stuff, and then I came out and like, you know, like a minute and a half later, these guys are still there. They're just like in the middle of the road. And the ironic thing is that it's quiet. So there's there's no real cars waiting behind them, but they're just both in the middle of the road. And none of them is saying anything. So it's not like it's aggressive or anything. It's like passive aggressive. They're both just looking at each other and, and no one's saying anything. And they're just there. And then the cars are starting to build up. So I'm kind of watching. Them. I'm like, what is going on? Um, and it kind of reminds me of um, like situations and people uh, and conflicts that, um, you know, you're just kind of stuck there. And all it takes is for someone to just move a little bit or move back a little bit. But no one's willing to do it. And so they're both just sitting there, both just biding their time and sitting there in the middle of the road, uh, not willing to kind of move and not saying anything. And, and in typical family fashion, like staying completely quiet and just pretending like everything's fine, whereas they're both blocking traffic all over the place. So anyway, um, I went over to the guy who was in the van, who was kind of closest to me, and I said to him, look, uh, look, mate, I, you know, I think it's a good idea if you just kind of move back slightly, you know, um, the traffic's kind of being held up and stuff. And he goes, well, look, I'm in a van. It's very difficult to back up in a van, right? And I'm like, well, fair point. You know, I, I guess it is harder to kind of stop a van and, and get big, get back. So it makes sense what he's saying, right? So then I go over to the other car, uh, and this car's got uh, two guys in there, right? Uh, and they are from obviously a different background to the guy in the car. So anyway, um, they go to me, look, brother, thank you so much. I know you're a peace guy. <laughs> he just said that to me. I know you're a peace guy just by looking at you. Um, but these guys, he's a he's a this, he's a that. He just started swearing. I'm like, do you know him? He's like, no. He's like, but he looked at my face. He saw my face. And then he basically kept coming. So in his head, he's kind of got this story now saying that this guy has seen my face. He's seen the color of my skin. And because of that, he hasn't given way. And that's why he's kind of made such a big deal about it. So it's so amazing just to see like out of nowhere, like two stories kind of created, you know, one saying I'm in a van, you should have done this. The other one saying, look, he looked at my color and he said this. And it just it's just amazing how things like this happen. And they happen within families. They happen in friends. They happen all over the place. And to everyone watching, it looks ridiculous because you're like, look, why don't you guys just move and get on with your lives? But the ego gets in the way. And the stubbornness gets in the way and no one wants to move and no one wants to make a difference, even though their own lives will be better just by moving slightly back and slightly out of the way. Uh, and, and the irony of it is that someone is going to have to move at some point. Someone will have to move. Like We're not going to live on the streets, right? Not the whole of the street is not just going to wait for these guys. We're not going to build houses. Someone's going to have to move. And so there's a massive lesson in here, I think, for me first and foremost, about like relationships, about moving back, about realizing that, you know, you've got these stories in your head, you've got all this kind of drama that's going on in your head. But really, if you just take a couple of steps back and then get out of the way, life could be very free, life could be very different. But I think sometimes we just enforce it on the other people, enforce it on everyone else. So it's really, really important, I think, to take a lesson from this madness that just happened in the street, that if you have to, be humble, take a few steps back, and then go forward, inshallah, with your own life. Zakala khair for watching. Salam alaikum rahmatullah.